from the air is the most important to allow your body to balance and methylate. Oxygen is a methylator. Yes or yes? yes. Now, number three, sunlight. We need or we are meant to spend 85% of our time outdoors. It was true 100 years ago, 50 years ago. Most people go outdoors. Today, I don't think so. <laughs> Everybody wants to watch Netflix. <laughs> they don't even want to walk, all right? So why, why is sunlight so important? It converts light into the body so the body can produce the most powerful vitamins that even the pharmaceuticals are trying to suppress the information. And it's called vitamin D. Search it. You get a lot of vitamin Ds, guys. You get it from sunlight or supplementation because vitamin D is a methylator. Vitamin D and calcium is important for your bones. Vitamin D and K2 is very important for your body to work on circulation and allowing your bones and your joints to function pretty well. This is what vitamin D can do. And vitamin D has been shown to also help improve your immunity so you can fight cancer. So vitamin D is important. Now, do you love to walk outside under the sun? Yeah, that's great. But I don't think you can do that. The last time I was here in Las Vegas, it was 115. Mm. I'm they said it was, oh my gosh. It's not, not as big. hot as, well, the Philippines is hot. But your heat here is different. It's dry. In the Philippines, we sweat. Here, we only sweat in... <laughs> because in the upper part, it's absorbed. You know what I mean? So it's different here. And so, we need sunlight. This is my suggestion. Every day, go out and expose yourself. In the next 45 minutes when the sun rises, and the last 45 minutes when the sun goes Love down, sunlight. expose yourself for the next 45 minutes. Or I hope it takes 15 minutes. to 30 minutes every day. And that is powerful. Not sunlight gives you energy. It energizes you. And I have another tip for you. This is what I do. I travel in many countries. And when I go to a country with a different time zone, you know, jet lag, right? Jet lag. So what I do is I, I don't eat the whole day. I fast. According to Barry Berkey, you eat during the time, in your local time. So if it's morning in that time zone that you landed, you don't eat. You skip just one day. You eat when it's already morning in your place, and that is like the next day. That's when you eat, and you expose yourself under the sun for 45 minutes. It's, it's just amazing. So I don't have jet lag. So when I arrived in Denver last month, and this time, I went out the hotel and started exposing myself, walking, just having all the sunlight that I could have. And guess what? It's really, really, really good. It's aligning my body, and it's giving you the energy. Are you still with me? Yeah. All right, can you do that? Now, the fire removal 